evening is a very accomplished couple, couple, Robert and Pamela Rickenbacker, who have three radio shows, The Mr. R Show, The Classics with Mr. and Mrs. R, and What's Up with Mrs. R. Please help me welcome Mr. and Mrs. R. Come on out. Hi, thank hey, you for being how here. How are you doing? Please hey. have a seat. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Do you like our fancy little chairs here? Oh, wow, these, that, these chairs are like <laughs> something I've never seen before. Man. They're, they're fun, cool. aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yes, they're we're scared ready to spin. spin. Yeah. I don't want to be like, whoa, fall. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple that works together, the question always is, what happened first, the radio show or the marriage? Well, the radio show happened first. Oh, yeah. OK. For him. Ooh. For him. <laughs> <laughs> so explain what you mean by that. Well, actually, he was in radio before I met him, so I say it happened first for him. So, okay. Oh, now. Yeah. So how long did you guys work together? Well, it's been about four years now, and I prayed and said, Lord, please <laughs> let her be able to do radio. Because, well, you know, when you do radio and entertainment, you guys know it takes a lot of your time. Right. So I was doing radio, and I was like, I didn't want to leave her left out because then, you know, start causing <laughs> friction. So I said, you know, please let her be able to do it. I said, why don't you do the news? So she started doing the news, fell in love with it, and here is Mrs. Arya. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what? It wasn't really that bad. I tell you what, he was he was downstairs every night. He was always practicing, and you know, then he started doing radio a lot. So he thought, hey, you know what? You might get a little bit jealous, but I was going shopping, so I wasn't too jealous. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? So now that he asked me to do the segment, it was like, mm, I can do that. So it was doing celebrity news. First, it was going to be the weather and all of that. Yeah. And I decided, hey, let's talk about the celebrities. And yeah. that's how it came to. Got it. So you have three different shows. What's yes. the mission of your shows? What's your goal? The goal is to entertain the world. Yes. That's why we have the Mr. R Show. We give unsigned talent a chance to shine worldwide. Mm -hmm. We have the classics with Mr. and Mrs. R, which we both host together. You can't go wrong with the classics, the <laughs> 70s right. and 80s music, you know? And then she has her own show, What's yeah. Up With Mrs. R, and yes. that's how we are. And we come to, we do different topics on What's Up With Mrs. R. It gets kind of confusing sometimes because I also do What's Hot With Mrs. R. So, you know, when you have- You have up, way too many shows, I can't keep up. <laughs> Well, if you listen to the show, my husband always says that I'm the, uh, what is it? The, the, she's just the excitement of it. You know, she's just, she's the icing on the cake of the whole show. Oh, really? Of course, oh, she's yeah. the woman. Yeah, you know, so yeah. I'm just thankful that it worked out. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we also, uh, when we do the classics, we're always dating and stuff on the scene because we work so much, you know, so it's like we don't have the opportunity to get out and do this and just socialize, you know, we're always yeah. working, so. You know, that's our dating game. <laughs> yeah. And you also try and book some new talent, too, right? Yes, Yeah, definitely. so how do you go about that? How do you choose an artist? Uh, well, I get a lot of music submissions from unsigned artists, and I listen to them, and the ones that I like, I reach out to them, ask them if they'd like to do an interview. But a lot of times they hit me up, ask me if I want to do an interview. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, well... Thank you guys so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Tell people where they can find your three, maybe four shows. <laughs> well, we're on redpandaradio.com. We're on channel 600. And right now, the uh, phone apps are not available, but you have to listen on your computer. Once mm -hmm. you go on there, you'll see an app to download on your computer. And then once you download it, channel 600, you hear a great, wonderful, amazing, beautiful show with me and my beautiful wife. <laughs> right. And right now we have over 500,000 listeners, so we're always looking for everybody to listen to us. You know, when we do the classics, it's like out of this world. And then when he does hip hop live artists, it's out of this world too. So when you listen to the talk show, I'm always talking about what you're doing, what your mama's doing, what the celebrities are doing. <laughs> we're always talking about everything. So just mm -hmm. tune in to, you know, Red Panda Radio. Okay, great. And actually, Bonnie has something special for you. Bonnie's going to pop out uh -oh. here. Uh -oh. What we have is a certificate of awesomeness. Okay. Oh. Thank you guys so much for being here and being awesome. So you know what? Thank you for having us. Yes, Thank absolutely. All righty. So up next, we have Dylan with the CEO at Fremont Street Experience, Jeff Victor. Stay tuned. Oh, thank you. Don Juan and Dylan. This is for y'all.